As you know, today is a uh, problematic day. You go outside and you can see. Just look at it. We're looking uh, at a, uh, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, but we're going to warm up greatly. So let's get to it right now and show you what's happening. Let's go to the computer real quick. Your temperatures at this hour, the winds are out of the northeast, and we're somewhere between 40 to 47 degrees. You see it says 72. You say, Byron, you've been saying 75. Yeah, well, 72, 75. That's about right, right? So it's on the money because the, now the HER model is indicating that we can get up to 72 if we can just get the south wind to start pushing up toward us later this morning to the early afternoon hours. It's a tell of two stories. Uh, it's, you know, we have two stories here. This morning to the afternoon, we're feeling pretty good. Then we're not feeling so good. As this frontal system approaches, as the cold front approaches, we, we, we love the little red line here because that's going to bring us warmer air. But the cold front is going to bring us the possibility of severe weather. Storm Prediction Center says in Oklahoma City that there is the chance for this. High winds, heavy rain, thunderstorm activity, lightning, and hail. And if you look at my tornado box, it says moderate risk. There is the chance of that in our viewing area. Wherever you can see me or hear me, there's a possibility of that. As you look at the rain future cast, this is the HER model, updates every hour. You see the magenta right there approaching Allentown. And look at this. As it approaches uh, Mount Olive, you go over from Bethel. Whenever you see the magenta, we've talked about this numerous times since I've been here over the last five years. Whenever you see this color, like over at Hardwick at 630 tonight, that means that there is so much instability that if you get shear at the surface, you get some wind shear, you get some rotation, you can see a tornado. The Storm Prediction Center said it's not out of the question that our viewing audience could see a tornado tonight. And the magenta continues to approach by 8 o'clock, but then it says it gets a little less severe by 9 p.m. over the boroughs. I can't say that's going to be the case. What I'm going to tell you is this. Uh, G will be on the air at 6 o'clock. He'll be watching this. He'll be on at 4, 5, 6, and 10. But 6 o'clock, he'll be watching this. And he'll see if this is going to change. If you get a buzz on your phone, that means it's a tornado warning. It, it kind of scares you, right? Because it wants you to take cover. So hopefully that won't be the case. But if you get alerted, you got to take cover. Winds, see, that's that strong south wind I was talking about, 20 to 30 miles an hour. So we're going to warm up with that southerly flow. And then tomorrow, this pushes off the coast. And as it does, uh, that means that uh, we should quiet down a bit tomorrow, just a few drops possible. Saturday, Saturday will be dry but awfully cold. Now, this is in the morning. Once the winds come out of Canada during the morning, we could feel wind, uh, wind chills anywhere from around 18 to 25 degrees. If we get up to 72 today and then we're talking about wind chills in the teens, that's a drastic change in a short period of time. Uh, 72, 72 is possible today. That's, you know, maybe even 75 if we can get this warm front to head towards us and get here in a hurry before the rain starts. And then thunderstorms. I give you a window of the umbrella. I take the umbrella after the lunchtime today because there could be some drizzle and then we could see heavy rain th thunderstorms after 3, 4, 5 o'clock. Friday, that high of 60 degrees occurs at midnight. Temperatures drop and then Saturday morning, Rebecca, much colder.